Harry and Meghan's Frogmore Cottage home is pretty much a fortress, royal author Katie Nichol claims, and says the couple have made privacy the key factor for their lives together. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have made privacy the key factor at Frogmore Cottage, with the home resembling a fortress, a royal expert has claimed. Katie Nichol, who has written a series of biographies on the royal family, appeared on the rain today and said the Grade II listed building was pretty much a fortress, allowing the royal couple to live the private life they so desire. Katie told presenter Christine Lampard, We know that they're living this wonderful tucked away life at Frogmore Cottage which is pretty much, from what I hear, a fortress. They've made privacy the key factor. Meghan and Harry have faced growing backlash in recent weeks over their approach to privacy with the Duchess' controversial Wimbledon appearance and a top-secret christening for son Archie. Earlier this month the Duchess was branded childish after her bodyguards warned tennis fans not to take pictures of her at Wimbledon. The Duke and Duchess were also criticized for keeping the details of their son Archie's christening under wraps and using a royal loophole to ensure his godparents remain a secret. Details of Archie's baptism are being kept in a separate register held privately by the royal household on behalf of the Crown, which is not accessible to the public. The royal couple's approach to privacy has been met with growing backlash, particularly after it emerged the total bill to taxpayers once Frogmore Cottage is finished is expected to reach up to £3.2 million. It was initially reported the total cost would be £2.4 million. The newlyweds moved out of Kensington Palace this spring amid reports of a rift with Prince William and his wife Kate. This money comes from the Sovereign Grant, valued at £82.2 million this year and comprised of profits from the Queen's property portfolio, the Crown Estate, which are paid to the government. 25% of these profits are paid to the monarchy to fund the upkeep of its property, travel, security and staff. While the sovereign grant isn't taxpayer money, it is considered to be public funds, belonging to the state. The renovations were said to be spent on new water mains, a nursery for Archie, a designer kitchen and high security. While this morning the Mail on Sunday revealed that the couple spent £5,000 on a freestanding copper bath for their bedroom. Critics have called the spending outrageous, but friends of Harry and Meghan, who reportedly employed the interior designer used on celebrity hangout Soho Farmhouse in Oxfordshire, insisted today, it really isn't as grand as some people might think. Katie went on to reveal the royal couple would be spending their first summer holiday with baby Archie in Balmoral with the Queen. She said that the Duke of Edinburgh would join the Queen in Aberdeenshire, explaining, the Sussexes are due to be going for the very first time and, of course, taking little Archie for his first family summer holiday. The royal author suggested the royals would spend their time dog-walking, fishing and spending time together as a family. Katie said it was likely the Sussexes would spend the Duchess' birthday in Scotland, saying Meghan will be celebrating her 38th birthday early August on the 4th, it's, Balmoral, is a nice place to do it, so probably a birthday tea there.